What we're going to do today is we're going to demonstrate what makes a shotgun an assault weapon and what makes one a non-assault weapon. We're also going to show what the amount of damage each one does, one more or less than the other. You'll have to wait and see. There are a couple of things that make this particular shotgun an assault weapon by the government's definition. One of them is a collapsible M4 stock. As you can see, this stock collapses back and forth. The second thing is a pistol grip. This Remington 870 Express Tactical has a pistol grip on it that can be replaced along with this M4 stock. The third thing is this flash suppressor up here. So we've got the flash suppressor, the pistol grip, and the collapsible stock here. We're going to show what kind of damage this particular shotgun does in its assault weapon mode. And then we're going to make some modifications to this same gun and fire it at this same target and show you what the difference in damage, if any, that there are between the two. So the federal government has decided that this is what makes my gun an assault weapon and not this. So by taking this collapsible stock and pistol grip off of this weapon, somehow or another this made it an assault weapon and extremely dangerous and worthy of making unlawful to own or purchase. And somehow or another this gun that shoots the same round makes the same size hole somehow or another is safe and okay for you and I to buy. Oh wait. Now it's not an assault weapon. I like to picture Jesus as a ninja fighting off evil samurai. <laughs>